This is a game that I developed a while ago for first year game development at Carleton University. I made it with uh, Matt Diener. Um, there's a bit of a story for it. Um, we were kind of goofy about it. You know, two of us get caught in the game world, we have to face it off. We have a control screen, you can see. This game is developed in processing. And that music you're hearing is by Matt Diener himself. I don't, I don't know, I think he used like Fruity Loops or something to make it. <laughs> that was a mock-up screen that I drew, because uh, our game was going to be different. It was going to be more of a mathy game, but we decided for a Worms clone, but uh, real-time. You can move around, uh, you can interact with the field by shooting it down. As you can see I'm firing a projectile. You can change your angle. You can only interact with the field that's visible, so when you destroy a, a piece of terrain, it'll disappear and you can walk, uh, walk past it. Um, it's using a shader right now, so when uh, a bullet hits with a visible pixel, it'll create an explosion around erasing the pixels on, the, uh, on that image, and the, the player can only interact with pixels that are, are visible to the player. As you can see, I'm moving the other player. This is designed to be a two-player game where you face off. Yeah, he can jump, he can fire, he can move around. But back to me. Um, right there, there's a pickup that we've made. That's a machine gun, which allows you to fire very quickly. Um, the bullets are a bit weaker, and they're more susceptible to the wind. As you can see, the wind is the, uh, the bar at the top with the yellow. You're given three lives. Um, each of us have three. I'm the guy with the red hair. He's the one with the brown. You have health bars. Both are green. This is the bazooka. No, sorry, this is another machine gun. So you can, yeah, you just keep firing. There's Bazooka. Okay, so the explosion for this one's very large, but the, sh the shot cooldown is, is also much larger. So you'll see, like, there's a, there's a large explosion. It does a lot more damage, too. It's my favorite weapon of the, of the two that we made. So, yeah, you can see I'm kind of joking around, jumping around, testing out the field. You can jump on even sparse pixels. You have a bit of collision detection when you're walking along them. Uh, you can get caught in a ditch. You can fall to your death. You can you can shoot the enemy. You can see that we have some damage. There's a, there's a couple of spheres that we have around the players. Um, yeah. So yeah, when you die, you respawn at your base. Um, we didn't really like that, but um, due to time constraints, we weren't able to really play test uh, multiple spawn points. And there we go, game over. Player one lost. We made a couple levels in Photoshop. Um, I made this one very quickly. I just used a bevel and, uh, and a bunch of filters. Uh, I'm showing off how you can you can bore your way into the into the ground. You can create um, paths. So if this is a multiplayer game, you could have some pretty complicated things going on. Um, all right, you can't really tell, but I can tell. The game's 3D. Um, the background is very far in the distance, um, so that when you go close to your opponent, the, the camera actually zooms in. I'm trying to keep you at some distance. I got that idea from Super Smash Brothers. Um, when when you're far away, it'll zoom out. Um, you're actually firing spheres in this game, not not circles. Um, the the plane, however, is 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 2D. Everything's happening on 2D. Um, there's a bit of animation going on with the players. Different sprites. Uh, the arms will actually rotate when you when you change angle. Um, in this game, we I believe we got 100% on it. Uh, it was it performed very well. Um, so yeah, uh, first year game design. It was, it was a fun project. Um, not nearly as impressive as my other ones, but still, did, still, still fun to make. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.